Hello everybody, today I'm cooking frijoles borrachos and I'm gonna start with the ingredients. Uh, over here I have the pinto beans and I'm using uh, one pound and a half. And right here I put uh, four tomatoes and I cut them in little pieces. I have my bunch of cilantro over here. It's a bunch like this. And I have a medium onion. And the other half I put it already in the beans. Over here I have my garlic. I put uh, three garlics. And one tablespoon of consomme de pollo. And right here I have the meat I'm gonna be using. Um, I'm gonna be using this sausage, as you can see. And I'm gonna cut it in pieces. And I'm going to be using uh, my bacon over here. So I'm going to be cooking this first. And I'm going to be using this kind of ham for my beans. And one beer. That's why we call them uh, the frijoles borrachos because you will use uh, a beer over here. Okay, as you can see, I'm already frying the, the bacon. And I'm gonna cook until it's real crispy. And over here I have the beans. And to the beans I only put half of onion and one garlic. And, and I put two bay leaves right here, which I'm gonna re remove when I start putting the meat in there. So we're gonna let them cook. We're cooking over here. As you can see, all you see over here is the the fat from the bacon. So the grease stays over here. So after this, after we finish the bacon, we're gonna remove the the grease, and then we're gonna cook our ham and our sausage in here. Okay. You need a little more, okay? We want it real crispy. Okay, our bacon is done. So we're gonna put it to the side. And we're removing this grease, okay? Okay, I'm cooking the ham. It's almost done. And I use the same same uh, grease from the bacon. I only put one, one tablespoon. The only grease we're using on these beans is uh, the one that we got from the bacon, okay? Okay, it's done. So we're going to remove it and then we're going to cook our sausage. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one tablespoon of the grease from the bacon and I'm gonna put the sausage here to cook. Okay, so what I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna be breaking the ham, uh, the bacon. I got the ham over here. So I'm gonna break the bacon in little pieces. Like this, the whole thing. And I also put two jalapenos over here that I'm gonna put in my beans. Uh, but if you don't want, if you don't want it spicy, you don't have to put jalapenos. But if you want it more spicy, you can even put more jalapenos in it, okay? And I just cut them like this and across, as you can see. Our our sausage is done. And like I tell you, you can use any kind of sausage you want. So I'm gonna put it to the side. Okay, now we're gonna do the tomato. Let's put a little. It's right here. It's 
So we're going to be making a sofrito, the onion, and the garlic. So we're going to cook this until we make the sofrito for the greens. Our, so our sofrito is done, as you can see. So we're going to put it to the side. Okay, so our beans are ready so we can start putting the ingredients. and. Um, you can check them. We don't want them uh, too soft or too hard because we're still going to cook them for a little while more together. So I'm going to put the sofrito. And I have all the meats in here. Good job. So I'm gonna wait a little bit so it can it can be boiled and and then we can put the sazon goya, okay? Just wait probably like three or five minutes. Okay, now we can put the consomme. And we're gonna be tasting it and see if it, it needs uh, a little more. It's probably going to need a little more, okay, but um, we're going to wait. And now it's time to put on the beer, okay? This is how it's looking. So I'm going to put the, the beer in. Right there, one beer. So let them cook for a little while then we taste it how it is for salt and as you can see I removed the bay leaves right here okay cilantro going in and the jalapenos probably 10 minutes after we put the, the meat you can put the cilantro in the jalapenos or you can put them together with the meat you know it's up to you. There you go and this recipe is very easy the only time you take is when you're frying the bacon and the, and the ham and the sausage but I fry the bacon so I can remove all the grease because I'm going to show you how it looks uh, if we don't remove uh, the grease okay this is the, the grease we got from one package of uh, bacon. So if we don't remove it, uh, we end up making our beans with all this. There's people that they don't fry their bacon. They don't, they don't fry it before. So they just put them in their beans. But I always like frying it. So that, that way I can remove all this grease. Okay. Okay, I test, taste them for salt, uh, so they need uh, one more tablespoon, so I'm using the consomme, I'm not using the salt. And just wait until they're done. So the beans are already done. So I'm going to serve them and you'll see how they look. Okay, this is how they look when I serve them in a plate. So we just put a little cilantro on top. And um, 
like I tell you, it's a real easy recipe and it's and they're very good. I hope you enjoy the video and like and subscribe.